This is for 10 methods pathway. It's rearranging formulas video two and it looks at question two in 2.7. Again, we need to rearrange the formulas to make the variable in the brackets the subject of the formula and then find the value of that variable. In 2a's case, I've got a equals the square root of ax plus ay, where x and y are subscripts. So I've actually got three different values of a. A with some value of x, A with some value of y, and A. But they're three separate variables. I have to rearrange the formula for AY. I know what A is, and I know what AX is. So I've got three different variables. I need to rearrange it for AY. So I need to make that the subject of the formula. Okay, there's my AY. It's been added. Had AX added to it, then it was square rooted. So I need to square both sides. So I'm going to square this side, I'm going to square that side. That will give me a squared equals the square of the square root is ax plus ay. Now I'm going to move this to the other side and it's going to be a squared minus ax equals ay. Therefore my answer is ay equals a squared minus ax as being the formula with AY being the subject. Now I need to find out what AY is given these values of A and AX. AY will equal 9 squared minus 43. 81 minus 43 equals 38. And that is the value of AY. Okay, looking at 2F. x equals the square root of a plus b all divided by c and I've got to make b the subject. There's b there. Again, if I square both sides that will get rid of the square root. So x squared will equal a plus b all over c. Then if I move the c it's going to be c x squared equals a plus b and then I move the a to the other side and c x squared minus a should equal b. So my answer is b equals c x squared minus a. And there is the formula rearranged for the subject b. Now I've got to sub in those values to find out what b equals. b will equal c which is 3 times x which is 2 squared minus 4. 4, 3 fours are 12 minus 4. b equals 8 is my answer. That's 2f. And if I also look at 2h, x equals the square root of a plus b all divided by c. Now I need to make c the subject. <coughs> Since I have all of this square rooted, if I square both sides, that's going to give me x squared equals a plus b all over c. Now it's c that I wish to make the subject. c is in here in the denominator. I'm going to move the c over here and have c times x squared equals a plus b. Then move the x squared and I'll have c equals a plus b all divided by x squared. And that's the rearrangement of the formula in terms of the subject c. And now I need to find out what c equals given these values of a, b and x. So c equals a plus b, so 4 plus negative 1 divided by negative 3. 3 divided by negative 3, c equals negative 1 is my answer.